be autonomous because we are the student representatives, not the senior management representatives. Thank you. I'm here at USI Congress 2017, where motions have been passed, constitutional amendments have been made, and a new officer board has been elected. There were eight of these new officers elected to the board after a morning of hustings took place in Ennis. DCU's Sean Cassidy was beaten by Amy Kelly for the VP of Campaigns. Cassidy was the first DCU student to run for a position on the board since 2014. My vision for this role is a simple one. To broaden the levels of participation within our student movement, our campaigns need students at its centre. We are either a grassroots movement, grassroots movement or we are not. Following hustings, the USI discussed and voted on motions. One of these motions was on cervical cancer awareness. DCU student and maiden speaker Quiveny Merligan was motivated by the issue to stand up and share her story. One of the women in the shops in Tesco as I bought one item. And she, yeah, it was, it was a great time of life. But she turned around to me and said, Did you know um, one of the girls in school was after getting diagnosed with cervical cancer? And it's terrible. This girl is 20 years of age, she's younger than I am. She did not think at any stage of her life that cervical cancer was going to affect her, let alone her family, let alone her friends, and let alone the friends she never thought she was going to have after school. I honestly woke up this morning and didn't think I would be passionate about anything that was brought to the floor, let alone a welfare issue, because that's not really my skill set. Um, but one of the things that came up was uh, in relation to lowering the age that people were allowed to get uh, cervical cancer uh, smear tests. And I don't know about many other people who are watching this, but when I was in secondary school, we all got the cervical cancer jab, and I thought I was going to live forever. Um, but at the same time, I'm now being come to the realization that there are girls who are in my, were in my class in secondary school who are now um, facing the battle of cervical cancer. Mars Keane of University College Cork also spoke on the issue. So I spoke on the motion about cervical cancer awareness because there's not really a targeted awareness campaign for people under 25 because obviously the age threshold is women over 25 and I went up and I spoke and I said that it wasn't just women who get cervical um, smears, it was anyone who fits inside outside the binary and I mentioned that I'm a trans man and that I'm obviously going to have to get one but I can't and I've got pre-cancer cells in my body and I can't avail of a smear test without going privately which is expensive. Another of these motions was the removal of the unpaid status and part-time status of the VP for the Irish language. It's really outrageous to say that we're still even discussing this. This position is just as important as any of the other positions on the board. The, the issues facing the language are huge issues and so many students are interested in the language and it's about time that we have someone full-time to fight for these issues. To say that the VP for Welder should not be a full-time position shows disrespect to every single Welder in the North, <coughs> shows disrespect to every single Welder in the South, shows disrespect to every single Welder on this earth. After some time, the motion was passed, creating a new full-time position on the officer's board. Andrew Byrne, DCTV News, at the USI Congress, Ennis.